as promised here's the update on Lenovo Legion 5 Pro cooling issue. As you can see not all of my thermal pads are making right contact with cooling block. Also pay attention to CPU and GPU dies. This is not right because whole die should be touching cooling block. As you can see only half of the GPU die is properly seated and making right contact. I will be using Alphacool Apex soft pads for this test, which are promising 11 watts per meter Kelvin. Here you can see how soft those pads are. Main idea is that they will compress as much as needed and allow for good CPU and GPU die contact. If we take a look at thermal grizzly ones, they are much harder and stronger. It feels like they are more silicon based. You can even see some text imprints due to pressure from cooling block. I would advise to cut them to exact size for your application. It will give them more space to compress and spread if needed. I also went with Alphacool Sub-Zero Thermal Paste. On the website it states that it offers 16 watts per meter Kelvin, which is better than Thermal Grizzly. I must say that it does feel more dense and sticky than Thermal Grizzly Crown Out, definitely. I will be applying a bit more than I usually do, since I'm not sure if this will go as planned. Also I would advise to spread the paste across the die and then at the end to add a small drop to make sure that all air will be pushed out. At the end, align your cooling block and let it sit for a few seconds with slightly tapping all across cooling block to make sure that all is aligned properly. It actually worked. You can pause and check the numbers. All I can say is that this is the way. Those or any other hard pads were causing the problems. Now a few extra words while driving my favorite car in Horizon 5. This cooling block is not okay. I mean tolerances are terrible and even when using correct pad size I cannot guarantee that it will work. The best solution here and in general would be those putty like pads that will work in any situation. Are they more expensive? I really do not know, but this problem would not even exist if they use them. Also in terms of quality control those issues should not exist. We as a customer should not need to repair out of the factory issues. I hope they will change this in the future or at least quality control will get better. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing to my channel. Cheers.